Hello guys, Super Setman here, welcome back to my channel. Today's comparison is between the 7-time Mr. Olympia winner Phil Heath at the 2018 Mr. Olympia and Hadi Chupan at the 2019 Mr. Olympia. A battle that we're hopefully gonna see in two weeks at the 2020 Mr. Olympia. Phil Heath had uh, one of his worst shapes of all time in 2018. But the thing is that the main problem was his midsection in between the poses and when standing relaxed, which is noticeable in the video footage more. But in these peaks, he is pretty hard to beat. He probably beats Sean Rodon if you judge only the peaks with the mandatories alone. So let's see how Hadi Chupan looks compared to Phil here. And as always, first pose is the front double biceps. First of all, I want to mention that these pics were taken from different shows, from different angles, with different lighting. And even though I edited them to have the same background and similar color tone, there's nothing I can do about the camera angle, so bear with me guys. This is the best that I can do. Phil's arms look smaller because of that, but uh, trust me guys, Phil's arms are way bigger than Hadi's. But apart from that, I think Hadi looks better. His V taper is better, his midsection is tighter, and his quads are more deep cut than Phil, so overall I like Hadi better here. Next pose is the lat spread, and this is Phil's least impressive pose, even before he had the stomach issues. Structurally speaking, he is narrower than Hadi, and in this pose the accent is put on the lat width and the V taper and Hadi has the upper hand in both cases. Hadi Chupan wins both front poses in my opinion. But now we look at the side chest and usually Phil takes his revenge here, and this case is no exception. I think that the size of Phil's arms, uh, forearms and shoulders are too much for Hadi in this particular pose, and in the chest area they match up pretty well, but Phil takes this one. Next pose is the back double biceps, and I believe this is Hadi's weakest pose. Not that this pose is that bad, but compared to the level he is in the rest of the poses, I think this one needs more, uh, the most improvement. He may be wider than Phil, but Phil beats him with uh, fullness details, 3D effect, and also in the arms department. Downstairs Hadi may have a slight advantage, but not in the calves department, Overall, I think Phil is the clear winner in this pose. Hadi looks way better in the other back pose, the lat spread. His back looks fuller and thicker and I believe this is a strong pose for him. But uh, what can you do when you're going against such a back as Phil's? I know you guys are uh, keep mentioning uh, how he is narrow and this and that, but uh, look at that back. Like uh, Mikey's Iron Rage would say, it looks like he really has a piece of armor on his back. The level of details and roundness is just uh, unreal. Phil wins this one every day and every night uh, from my point of view. Side triceps guys and uh, look at that. They both try to hold it like Dorian, showcasing the curve, but unfortunately neither of them look as good as Dorian here. But enough with Dorian and I'm telling you guys, this is normally a feel heat pose, but uh, I can't ignore the stomach distension here and I'm going to penalize Phil for this. Hadi takes this pose, but uh, only because of Phil's uh, bad display. Otherwise, Phil would have uh, taken this one. Abs and thighs. I'm curious if anyone thinks that Phil wins this one. Let me know in the comments below if you think that. Because, uh, in my opinion, no way he is winning the abs and thighs pose. Don't get me wrong, pre-2014 Phil would have uh, beaten Hadi here, but not now. And not only that, look at Hadi's uh, cuts through the abs. I know he has a pretty blocky physique, but look at the details. And I think Hadi is winning with the thighs also. But if you guys are not convinced yet, I'm gonna let this here and let you guys decide. We deserve a champion that can do a vacuum pose again. I really think so. Last pose, the most muscular. You know I like uh, Phil's most muscular. 
The only thing you can take from him here is uh, the midsection, but uh, in this pose, the distension is not that obvious. And also, this is not a strong pose for Hardy to make my decision more difficult. Phil Heath wins this last pose. Final score, and I apologize guys, it's 4-4. I hate ties. Not the thing you put around your neck when you go to a fancy event, no, no. But when things remain undecisive. But what can I do? We have 8 mandatories, each of them won 4, and there you have it. I really think Phil would have won that side triceps if it weren't for his bad displaying though. But anyway, on the other hand, I think uh, we have seen the best of Phil, but no way we have seen the best of Hardy yet. We'll just have to wait and see. What do you guys think? Who is better? Let me know in the comment section below and also like this video and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you and see you next time.